What's up, guys? Welcome back to the FedCast. This episode is brought to you by nobody because we don't have any fucking sponsors. <laughs> but if you'd like to be a sponsor, just shout out. Uh, let us know. Let somebody know. Send us some. Uh, send us some merch or so, um, some products or I don't know. Reach out. Yeah. No meth. No crack. Nothing like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been. Yeah, it's been. So my birthday, the weekend before my birthday, we were supposed to record, but. Vincent had just had his baby, mm-hmm. so no. shout out Baby Koa, because he said, fuck y'all's podcast schedule, <laughs> and that's fine, and you got sick. I got sick, yeah. And then this episode, <laughs> I've been feeling under the weather, weather during the week, and I, that's why I texted you yesterday. I was like, we'll see how I feel in the morning. Yeah, that's why I hit you up this morning. I was like, I'm like 80, I was like 80%, yeah. And then unless I just wake up and I feel like dog shit. And I actually, I'm feeling a lot better. Like the last couple of days I woke up and just like one side of my face has been complete, completely congested and I couldn't breathe. And I'm, I mean, I'm not like a hundred, hundred percent, but you know, it's okay. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. So, but yeah, we are here. We are back. Uh, I didn't want to go a whole six weeks without an episode. Basically, that's what that would have been for us. Yeah. Because of my uh, my kid schedule and all that jazz. So, Chase, let's get right into it. You got a cult classic or a movie you want to talk about today? I do. Uh, it's going to be different. Fucking mic's fucking up again. <sighs> Try to push the mic up. Try to push the plug up. It's fucking shit. All right, and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, it's a different man. It's a French movie. Came out in 2016. Is it French? Mm-hmm. It's called Raw. Mm. Girl's a vegetarian, right? She wants to fit in, so she eats raw meat. And then she starts like... She eats the shakes? She, you know, she starts getting the taste for human flesh. Oh. She's like eating her fingers and shit and other people's fingers. This is a different kind of cult classic. Yeah. It's a trip. It's like this French boarding school or some shit. Yeah. Turns she, out... She's 2016? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Turns out it's not like a random thing. Like it runs in the family. Oh. Yeah. So so they knew, like her family knew about it? Yeah. And did they send her to the school so she could learn about it? No, nah, like they think she's normal. But then like come to find out the twist at the end is that her dad like lets her mom eat parts of his body and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. It's a trip. Oh. Freaked me the fuck out the first time I watched it. Okay. Well, you know, to each their... Uh, no, not nah, to each nah, their... You can't nah, fucking eat people. Do that. <laughs> That's not okay. That's why it's a movie. Um, You remember that movie Midsommar? Yeah. Stupid white people stuff. The mushrooms? I'll never... Uh, I, I, I genuinely... Like, so if you haven't seen Midsommar... Yeah. Uh, pretense of the movie. Uh, Their friends are European, and they're in college, right? Yeah. And they go back... <coughs> it's like sw- <coughs> Sweden, <coughs> Fuck. yeah, and uh, they do shrooms like as soon as they get there, like, you're, like you do. Then like the something happens with the car, they end up everything's fine. When they come to the next day, everything's happy go lucky. Everybody's yeah, happy. they're at that little no one weird village or whatever. Yeah, no one's like uh, and then just like throughout the show, it starts to get like there's like weird things happening here and there, here and there, here and there, and yeah. then like. It's just, it's one, it's, that. I mean, that's, that's not a cult classic, that's the occult. That's a cult. Yeah, yeah that's like, and, uh, yeah. I, no, man, we'd have been out of there, so I'd have been like, yo, we gotta go. Bro, what the fuck are we doing? What, why is, do we, what is this? Why do we come? <laughs> why do we agree with this dude? Yeah. Why does he talk like that? Fuck this, let's, let's go. <laughs> Steal all the mushrooms, though, before we leave. As soon as you've seen the lemonade was a different color, it's like, yeah, I'm out of here, man, this is weird. And, uh, yeah, it was just one of those weird, uh. They had because they had the ta- the tapestry, yeah, where it was like telling the story, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, weird, yeah. That's like I said, it's, it's stupid white people stuff. S- yeah, <laughs> like I would. Chase is a white guy. I'm half white, but we were we're not. There's no way in hell we're not there. No, nah. no, nah, bro, we're good. Like we're just gonna go. Like this is weird. We should probably leave. Uh, Rob's an alcoholic. He'd rather just be at a pub or something. <laughs> like we'll we'll be okay. But yeah, man. So. 
as we uh, mentioned earlier, I went and did uh, the AM chat. Yeah, went and yeah. did their podcast. I watched it. That was cool. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, we did mention y'all briefly at the beginning. Okay. And uh, Pincha Chase is how you were referred to. <laughs> and uh, Vincent is not allowed to bring his baby anywhere near the podcast studio. So, um, y'all got shouted out, though. <laughs> Fucking Chase, all right. Yeah, Pincha Chase. Cool. Um, that's uh, My mom watched that the episode, and she goes, did you just say that? I was <laughs> like, yeah, she just said that. Well, thanks for the shout out. But yeah, uh, it was a good time. So if you haven't watched the episode, it's on the U of Tubes and such. And uh, the U of Tubes. That's how they said the it. The Tubes of You. The Tubes of You in the old foreign days. It's like Yoda shit. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it on Tubes of You, there's. <laughs> that was terrible. That wasn't great, but hey, man. But you know, you know, sometimes you do terrible voiceovers because you just do. Because it's fun. Oh, but yeah, man, this uh, this uh, whole life thing, man, it's been kicking my ass lately. Yeah, me too. My rent went up. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Electric bill is crazy high. Well, it's 105 degrees outside. <laughs> I know, but still. And you got it set to 71. 75. Oof. Yeah. So, so, hey, man, so when they tell us, uh, hey, you should turn your ACs to whatever so you don't mess with the power grid, do you do that? I never hear that. I don't watch the news. Bro. Oh, that's just a good point. Yeah. It's worst show on TV. <laughs> the worst reality show ever. <laughs> the news. The real world. At nine. Yeah, man. Uh, so, I've been I've been noticing. You know how they have game shows? Yeah. Like, you remember, like, the peak of game shows was, like, in my eyes would have been, like, who wants to be a millionaire? Because it was, like, pop culture. They yeah, were asking okay, questions about it. Like when Regis Philbin was the guy. Yeah, like the early 2000, early mid 2000s. I think that was like, that was like a peak. I mean, because you've always had but Jeopardy like, you had and like you've the always 80s had. And shit too, where they did the dating game. And all yeah. The so I feel like there's cycles to it where, yeah. it where it really get where it becomes popular culture. Like people are actually paying attention. Yeah. And I mean, in our lifetime, I think Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was probably up there. Um, and then oh, they had that weakest link for a while. Yeah, you are the weakest link. Goodbye, <laughs> yeah. like that. And then, so I feel like those reality TV, sh- like those reality game shows, those were like, well, it's like then, the trivia shit. Yeah. yeah, but like now I've noticed they have one something about don't forget the lyrics. Yeah, with like Jamie Fox or some shit. I don't know. I don't know if it it's was like called Shazam or some shit. No, no. There's one called Don't Forget the Lyrics. Uh, Wayne Brady or some shit. No, it's someone I have no idea who they are. Huh. I was at a restaurant. I was like, "Are they just trying to?" I was like, "Oh, this is a terrible game show." Yeah. Like, why did why did someone make this? But people are people are watching. I guess. Uh-huh. I don't That's know. That's the point. I guess. I feel like when uh, but I feel like when you look back, the fucking Fear Factor guy, Joe Rogan, bro, those people were doing insane shit for fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> you can't even buy a, a brand new truck for fifty thousand dollars anymore. No, that's not even life changing money. No, that just pays off uh, trade school. Yeah, it be, doesn't pay off luck, college. Lucky to put a down payment on a house and have some groceries. Yeah, fifty grand. I mean, I bought a house in the last ten years or well five years ago, and two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Yeah, fifty grand is. I mean, it's not even. I mean, it's right about at a quarter of yeah. it give or take 10 grand right but still it's like fifty thousand. i mean they should bring fear factor back give would, these people a mill shit, bro. give these people a mill bro yeah but see fear factor i would win that so quick <laughs> but fear factor was one of those things you had to be physically fit because they would have yeah, like some wild ass like athletic i mean it wouldn't even be that outlandish yeah. it'd be like yeah, if you're semi in shape, you could probably do this. Yeah. Jumping off a helicopter, trying to land on a freaking square, some stupid. Easy. But you have to do it faster than the next guy. Yeah. So, whatever. Well, when it comes to eating stuff, I'd be. Bro, fuck s- that. So, I'd be, oh, easy. My That's mom easy money, still bro. watches that old shit. And Joe Rogan's got these dudes fucking putting maggots and worms and roaches in a blender yeah. with dead fish. And. I mean, all we eat is dead fish. We really don't eat living fish. Yeah, but I mean, kind of. But I mean, you Some get places, you get this bucket, 
and the dude does like 27 shots of this chum bullshit. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck that, bro. $50,000. <laughs> fuck you. Well, in the ni- early 90s, it would have been a deal. I, I don't know, bro. bro. Even in the early 90s, what could you have bought? Two trucks <laughs> brand new? <laughs> now you can't even buy one? Dude, yeah. inflation is fucking crazy. It's nuts. Bro. I remember my dad did buy a truck in 1997. He paid... Fourteen thousand dollars for a base model Silverado, 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 yeah, single cab short wide bed V six, manual windows. He paid like thirteen or fourteen grand for it. It's like thirty dollars, thirty thousand dollar truck now at least. Yeah, I mean, you, if you go into fucking Chevy house, like a brand new truck, uh, manual window, just a work truck package V six, they're gonna be like, oh, we got the turbo four four cylinder. Yeah. The fuck, who 50, wants that? Fifty thousand dollars. And I'm just sitting here thinking, Joe Rogan had these motherfuckers doing crazy shit for 50 grand. You know how much advertisement money that fucking show probably made from every fucking commercial? Yeah, it was so popular. Bro. It was just a fucking, it was, they were just, oh, that's just a little bit of charity money, 50 grand. <laughs> They're like, oh, we have an all-inclusive trip to Cabo if you fucking do this faster than him because he already blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bro, that trip, it's like 10 grand. Right. All-inclusive trip to Cabo, 10 grand today. <laughs> Not even ten grand today, because you can go with one person. It's probably like a thousand bucks a person. Yeah. Damn. Joe Rogan was really out here fucking these dudes. Oh, shout out to Joe Rogan. The new uh, special comes out tonight. It'll be uh, on Netflix, Netflix tonight. A live stream. They're, huh. They're starting I, to get into that more and more, huh? That that's the plan. Yeah. They're they're doing enough of these before the whole Tyson Paul thing happens. <laughs> When's that supposed to happen? Ain't it supposed to happen this month? They pushed it to November because Fuck. Mike Tyson had a heart murmur or some kind of health scare on that airplane. Mm. So Paul Paul fought Mike Perry last weekend. Yes. Yeah, the ex UFC fighter. And he won. Yeah. I mean Jake Paul is not a small guy. No. I mean he's I mean he's he's, he's a good amateur boxer. Yeah, he's 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 in shape. He's yeah. He's taking training seriously. He, he's not fighting like bums off the street. Mike Perry is a scary fucking dude. Mm-hmm. I've well, he's seen not him. A boxer, though. That's true, but he's a fighter. Yeah, and he does that bare knuckle bullshit too. Yeah, you're going to uh, that's a, that's a tough motherfucker. I know. Oh, yeah, fuck that dude. Watching some of those bare knuckle things, I don't want to see that shit no more. Yeah, that shit's worse than a fucking well. street fight because. Yeah. In a street fight, you split someone's wig open. Usually, it's they're pretty like, much over. <laughs> "All right, bro, we'll, we'll run it back. We'll run it back next, yeah, next time. time. Next time." But they're out there with like their forehead flapping off and shit, and it's like, "Good <laughs> God, there's not a doctor. How is this legal? Right? Are y'all like on an Indian reservation where they hate <laughs> white people? I don't. I mean, you see some, bro. I'm serious. Like you watch, why? Because well, I mean." Okay, I say that because a lot of those do take place yeah, at places where like there's different Indian laws. reservations that have casinos and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's why I say it that way. But that shit was funny. I mean, those they look they're, the people they got they look fucked up. The girls too when yeah. the girls go out oh, there. Yeah. Like oh, we're, we're, look like Klingons when they're done. They're yeah, bro. foreheads all swelled up. It's like what? What do y'all? Why are y'all letting them do this? Yeah, like somebody throwing a towel. Right. I don't know, man. Do some permanent damage. Well, you know, because you got to think, how much do you think they're getting paid? Fuck the final. I would, I would say they got to be getting at least. I would hope they'd be getting close to like seventy-five k to a hundred k a fight. I was gonna say like, yeah, something like that. I would maybe up to two fifty. I would hope. Yeah. If you got a big name, you're ex UFC star, and you're gonna pull the pay per view streams and such. I would hope you're getting. 200k yeah you can't you can't have 10 of those fights yeah you need to go to the fucking hospital i mean if you're if you're if you're decking dudes and knocking them out and like the fight's over okay you can have 10 of them but if if you're going through fucked up yeah if you're going through like a major war status for like three or four fights it's like yeah bro it's time your career's over it's time to go work at cvs dog like just let's just wrap it up bro and when your eye pops out we got a problem yeah man that's nice. Yeah, we watched the uh, the we watched the UFC card last weekend, and the main event was. I mean, it wasn't garbage. It was just a boring ass fight. Yeah, sometimes they are though. And it's a lot of uh, as Jorge Masvidal would say, 
a lot of nuts, uh, crotch sniffers. They were just like rolling <laughs> on each other and yeah, all these weird ass positions. And oh, I got your back, but I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm not going to choke you out or really hit you. I'm just going to like lay on top. Yeah, of you. <laughs> I'm going to hump your back for four minutes, and the rest going to say I won that round. Yeah, you know, ground control is a real thing. Yeah, you get points for it. So you ready? You ready for football, man? Fuck yeah. We're uh. Like a, a month out for actual actual games. Yeah, we still got preseason. <clears throat> three, the ho- the Hall of Fame game was Thursday, right? Yeah, I think it got can't like it didn't finish it because of the weather. Oh, for real? Yeah, I think it stopped in the third quarter. Oh, I think. Hey, NFL, you can do that. Yeah, you got to let them play it out. Oh, there could have been a season-ending injury that happened at that game <laughs> and completely altered the timeline, but now you <laughs> fucked it up. So now there's a Mandela effect where some of us remember the game finishing and other people don't. <laughs> yeah, right. And this one running back no one's ever heard of, he scored four touchdowns, <laughs> and he's going to be a great player in five years. And he never even got to play. Yeah. He probably just got cut. <laughs> he didn't even make practice squad now. You fucked it up, NFL. <laughs> don't no, blame the weather. I'm definitely ready. Yeah, bro. I I put it on our group, on our group chat on Instagram yeah. about um, – the, the Mandela effect in Disney. The biggest one was the Cheshire Cat from fucking Alice in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. When it, he says, we're all mad here. And well, I thought the Mad Hatter said that. Mm-mm. Well, maybe, see, you remember it fucking different. The Cheshire Cat says, we're all mad here. And then they flip it. And then it says that he says, we're all mad around here. Uh, and enough. I was like, um... Well, I've been to bars <laughs> where it says on the wall, we're all mad here. Yeah. And now I'm like, wait, am I remembering this wrong? Yeah. And there's and then the hi-ho, hi-ho song, mm-hmm. off to work we go. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker's talking about from home to work we go. The fuck? Why would you even say it that way? That's not it. Or no, from work to home we go. That doesn't even sound right either. Oh, you got me tripping out right now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like the I'm the, trying to remember. It. I the, thought it was the thing is once once it's been go. introduced the wrong way. Yeah. And then you, you have to think way. back. You're like, wait, why why do me and half of the rest of the population of the world remember this shit happening differently? The fucking Mandela effect, man. We're all there's fucking timelines just emerging, just like fucking what Marvel's doing with the cinematic universe right now. Did you see Deadpool? Yes. Did you? Nah. Bro, what the fuck? I haven't seen it yet. I know everything about it already. It's all over the place. I know. I like, I try I I try my goddamn best not to do any spoilers, nah, but it's everywhere. Like man. the fucking. Oh, I can fix that one. There we go. Boom. But the uh, the. The amount of effort and time that they put into rewriting this storyline and trying to make it, it, it really fucking worked. And then, uh, seems like it would. The pop culture song references for the, like the past 25 years in sync. Uh, no, the Madonna songs go back further. Yeah. So, but I mean, it, it they executed this movie very well. And hearing, uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Tell Deadpool to shut the fuck up at least ten times in the movie yeah. was was totally worth it. And bro, there are some videos. I know all some, the cameos. Some right. of the some of the Christians <laughs> went to see this movie thinking, you know, Chris Evans style yeah. of uh, Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hundred and seventy something times or something. I think they say fuck. I think they say, I think it's a hundred a hundred and seventeen times. That the 117 times that the F word has been used in the MCU, mm-hmm. and one is from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. So it's 118 total of the F word. This is just the F word. <laughs> this isn't bitch, dick, all the other shit that Deadpool says. <laughs> yeah. Pegging, like none of that. But when you roll into, and then they said in the first Deadpool movie, fuck was used 88 times, mm-hmm. and then Deadpool 2 was like 97 times. So we're we're so gradually adding the, the F, but I mean this movie was two hours long. Yeah, it's the longest of all three of them. And it was one hundred percent worth going to see in the theater, 
And uh, yeah, I plan on going. I, I mean, I'm a great dad. I took my kids to see it. I mean, <laughs> they hear they hear way worse oh, in the yeah. car, right? So, no, I just want the crowds to die down. Bro, we went on uh, Saturday morning. Yeah. At eleven o'clock, and with popcorn, two drinks, four tickets, it was like seventy-one bucks, mm-hmm. and that saved me like twenty-five dollars just because I went on Saturday morning yeah. for matinee. the matinee pricing. Yeah, it's expensive, man. Yeah, if I go up to that Lake Worth one, the tickets are cheap, but it's like is that the one that looks like it's in a, a barn dominium? It's an aluminum building. Nah, I went to one. Which, which one? Did you, oh, you said Lake Worth. Mm. I went the one in Granbury. Mm. So in Granbury, they have one that it's like a steel building. It looks like they like were the going to make a warehouse, <laughs> and then they just said, "Let's make the movies." <laughs> and they don't have beer on tap. This is back in my drinking days. Yeah, we went to see. I think we saw that Godzilla, the like the latest, but it was just Godzilla. King Kong hadn't showed up yet. Oh yeah, the, I know what you're talking about. So we went to see see that and. I think I got like, they let you buy two beers at a time, so you don't have to get back up. But you know that second beer, it's, it's it's open by the time the movie starts. The credit, right. yeah, yeah. But they didn't have like leveled, unleveled like uh, stadium seating. Mm-hmm. It was just floor seating, oh. and there wasn't that many chairs in there either. So I was like, this is this is a very poorly designed <laughs> movie theater. But you know what, guys, uh, people in Granbury want to watch movies too. So right. good on you. But I, I just remember going in there. I was like, I'm not really sure what's going on here. <laughs> <coughs> I went to that one in Weatherford and saw a Quiet Place, I think it was. The mm. new one. The, that is it Film Alley. That place was pretty badass. What is that? What is the new Quiet Place? This is Day One. Day One. So there's no um, John, John K. Word in there? Krasinski? No. Yeah, K. Word. That's, like that's what I said. <laughs> His wife's not in it either. Man, it was good though. But he's an executive producer, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's getting. Some he money. created this shit. <laughs> he's getting some money out of it for sure. But yeah, man, uh, the De- Deadpool was definitely worth going and seeing. Uh, if you don't like your kids hearing profanity, you should just shut the fuck up because you cuss just as much as Deadpool does. <laughs> yeah, right. No, but I'll, um, I'll probably go next week. Yeah, it's 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 good. We we did it. Find those the popcorn buckets. Yeah, like they probably went out immediately. Apparently, they were really were a thing. And you can get some, some, I don't know if they were marketed by like Marvel yeah, or if like a third party company came in and was selling them to movie theaters. But well, I saw there was like hey, Mom. two or three different ones. Yeah. There was a couple different ones. You got one where you, you mm-hmm. got the, the Deadpool mouth hole, then the Wolverine mouth hole. Yeah. And then, uh, and then one just had like a figure of them on there. There was a, a baby Deadpool. Oh, yeah. A baby Deadpool that had a drink on the top and popcorn in the bottom. And the Deadpool corpse, though, yeah. when you got... Because, bro, I mean, I wasn't like hardcore comics, but I had seen videos online and they talked about it, all the different Deadpools. Mm-hmm. And a lot to, of them. to see all that on screen was definitely... And then, and, and then when... at the I knew it was going to happen because I had already seen it in the previews. Mm-hmm. But when he, when Wolverine goes back puts his and pulls the mask out of nowhere and puts it on, it was like, oh, shit. Like, this Childhood. is different. Like, oh. And he had the white eyes. Yeah. And it was just like. And, you know, they they really don't do white eyes. Spider-Man does. But his, Spider-Man and Deadpool. But his eyes are like this big. No. And they shift and stuff. But Deadpool does it with the small eye. the first one. And seeing Wolverine like that, man. Poor Hugh Jackman. He'll be. He literally will be ninety years old and still playing Wolverine. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do another one. They're already talking about it. Yeah. They're they they're already in production of. Uh, so they've said. Yeah. Rumors are uh, Hulk and Wolverine. I remember that animated movie that they made. That yeah. did, that was before the MCU. It was way back. Yeah. And Deadpool was in that too. And Sabretooth. But anyways, we've talked about Deadpool long enough. And um, all right, bro. So I'm going I'm to run a theory by you. Okay. And I don't, I don't know how we. So uh, there are some running jokes that I have about dating. Yeah. And um, the, one of the main ones is she has to cry pretty because when I see <laughs> girls cry ugly, it's just like, mm-hmm, not attracted to you anymore. <laughs> but um, 
I went, but <laughs> and you know that's one of the most insane things to say out loud. No, nah, she's got to cry pretty. Um, yeah, it is pretty out there. Yeah, you but, never really hear that. One but much. but it's because of that stupid Instagram. Um, it's the advertisement because they do those little bracelets with the little the little picture yeah. inside the little circle, and you hold it up to the light, and you look, and it's like, oh my god, and she starts crying, but she's happy, and she looks lost. <laughs> and so someone had made a mention about 2024 that I've that I've given up on it that I've given up hope for love in 2024 it there was never a hope there was never it's an ambition impulsive. there was never a Barely looking fucking August <clears throat> but this is where this is where we come into the theory I don't know how much I've discussed this theory with you before mm. but I have discussed it with maybe we have dis- anyways so the perfect time to start dating is when you're not looking for it. No, is March. <laughs> oh, okay. This oh, is because all the holidays. <laughs> yes, this is. I think we have talked about this. Yeah, and I'm, we never talked about it on camera. No. So the reason you would start dating in March is because you're going to miss out on particular holidays and meeting people way too early. Yeah. So let's let's run through the scenario. Let's say. Let's say it's. October. So October, let's say you meet a girl October 13th. Mm-hmm. Two weeks is not too soon to go to a Halloween party with the girl that you met two weeks ago. No. But then in another 30 days, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. 45 days into meeting someone, I'm not ready to meet your dad. I'm not ready your to meet grandma. your grandma, <laughs> your aunts, your uncles. I don't want to do none of that. I don't even know if I like you really that much yet. Like 45 days in... I don't want to date you and be living with you and like we see each other five times a week. That's ridiculous. So that's that's why I said March. So you look at March. You already missed. You missed Valentine's. You missed, Valentine's. You missed the awkward gifts that you shouldn't have bought each other to begin with. Yeah. And you and you roll back. You met Christmas, awkward gifts. You don't know that person that well. Yeah. You're spending all this money on a handbag or <laughs> or whatever jewelry like that's kind of that's kind of getting up there yeah. for someone that you don't know how serious that this quickly, is yeah. and it's pretty quick unless you have a conversation but I'm not that big a person so I'd rather just buy you something and not have that conversation <laughs> so I say March because in March you you look at those March holidays after March what do we have in March nothing St Patrick's Day. That, I mean, that's just you getting drunk at a bar. Yeah. Or that's y'all going a- out for drinks. April's Easter. Yeah. You can go to church, I guess, if that's your thing. If that's what you do. And then in May, Mother's Day, if she has kids, it's not really your responsibility to buy her anything. But it's nice, too, I guess. I mean, you get her flowers. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, don't go don't go crazy. And like, no, nothing in general. Don't set the bar up here. <laughs> yeah, because right. There ain't nowhere to go from the top. And then Except we rolled into June. What do we have? Uh, Memorial Day. Oh, uh, yeah. Cookout. Cookout with the family, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Cookout with friends, maybe. Mm-hmm. You can. You don't have to go to that one, though, because y'all only been seeing each other a couple months. And, hey, you know, it's kind of early me. No one's going to get mad if you dip on a Memorial Day cookout. Yeah, right. And July rolls around. Fourth of July, yeah. you go watch fireworks. Maybe you go out for the night. Whatever. August rolls around. Nothing. Nothing. Labor Day in September. Another maybe a family cookout. Maybe a cookout, yeah. Then Halloween comes. But at this point, you've been dating this girl since March. Yeah. Since Mar- was it? Yeah, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Eight months in. So then you're like, okay, eight months. This is when you call it quits because you're about to commit to the holidays. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So you roll into October and then you're like, Oh, my, my cousin's having a uh, Halloween party. You should come. All right. Now you're going to meet. So extended. Yeah, extended. Because, like. You probably are. Everybody's mom. One of the cookouts. You everybody's, probably met the parents. Yeah. Everybody's mom and dad doesn't, like, hardcore go to a Halloween costume party. Yeah. But you're setting up for Thanksgiving. Right. So then Thanksgiving rolls around. You're nine months in now. You know. Like, do I see this going somewhere? Is this... That's a fair point. And then, if if you're all in on Thanksgiving, then Christmas. you've known her for 10 months by the time Christmas hits. Yeah. You're going to know what she likes. You're going to know how to do the romantic get gestures. Um, you're going to have all that knowledge built up, so you're setting yourself up 
for success. <laughs> so it, I mean, knowing so someone, point. knowing someone for ten months, it really puts puts you in a place to be successful in a relationship. You're going to be able to address red flags, things that you don't like. So the perfect time to start dating a girl is March. And Hard to argue with that. Christmas comes in, you, you do the Christmas presents, New Year's. By this time, you're ready to do a New Year's Eve kind of jam. Maybe y'all big big shebang in Dallas, New Year's Eve party or something, or Oklahoma, whatever it is. Yeah. And you're kind of in... I'm not gonna lie. If you've been dating this girl for ten months Damn now, you. and you ain't fucked like y'all, if y'all <laughs> haven't done that, the nasty, the New Year's is your time, bro. The like, nasty. if if you haven't gone that, if I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, not from a Christian perspective, but I'm just saying, if you've gone that long, odds are, odds are you already you already, you already did the deed. So yeah. I'm just saying, a romantic hotel in Dallas. Don't get all tipsy and drunk and yeah. pissy all over yourself. Be a be an adult with your drinking, please. Yeah. Oh man, did I hit record? I don't know. God damn it! I'm gonna go ahead and guess yes. I'm gonna hope. I need a little light, a little blinking light. And oh, yeah, yeah. we recorded. All right. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, I met mine in May. Huh? I met mine in May. Started dating in July. See what y'all met? Oh, but see. Okay, th- that's another thing I need to address. You don't have to start dating in March. So at least know them by then. <laughs> yeah, you should probably know them. And then you should probably have the concept, probably by July, that y'all are either together or there's some kind of yeah. exclusivity. It was July 4th, exactly. So mm. Easy to remember. Good logic. Setting <laughs> yourself up for success. But, but yeah, <laughs> and I mean... <laughs> And then, uh, well, that night she stayed with me. And I don't know. I guess by the time Halloween came around, yeah. And then I went to Thanksgiving with her. Pops came too. Yeah. So. But that's, I mean, there's the, the, the March theory isn't tried and true, <laughs> but it's a theory to try to set yourself up it's a, for yeah. the best outcome. Yeah. It's been four years now we've been together. Because if you start dating somebody, like, so in in, the, in this scenario as it plays out, you, you get January 1st, you get your New Year's. Yeah. Valentine's Day, you're 10, you're 11 and a half months in. You're a month away from your one year. Yeah. In March or wh- however it p- panned out. So the Valentine's Day gift, that's your, going to be your first one. Mm-hmm. Your first Valentine's, but you've already been with this person. So you know exactly what for, to do. For a plus plus nine months, at yeah. least. So you're not going to make the mistake of going to a shitty restaurant you, that they don't like. Uh-huh. You're not going to order some kind of weird-ass fucking flowers that they don't like. Like, you, you really have, like, all the ins and outs at this time. Yeah. So if you've been journaling, as you should have in all this... <laughs> <laughs> Mental, mentally, if that's what it takes, or if you actually wrote it down, I, because I, I, I'm, I'm gonna give you some real, both. real good advice, guys. Know things about her. Yeah, right. It helps. <laughs> Not like her middle name. Like know the shit that she likes. No. Like, where does she like to eat? Where does she not like to eat? Which actresses does she not like? No. Like, there's there's subtle things, and even if you you get into like playful banter. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to go see this new movie. You know I fucking hear. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, just have it already on your tongue. Yeah. To save yourself. <laughs> yes, to save yourself. <laughs> or to never fucking bring it up. Like, I feel like. I'm bad at that, bro. <laughs> my, my jokes and shit get me into so much fucking trouble. But I think there's I think there's a level of. There's a level of avoiding things to make days easy. And there's a level <laughs> of. Uh. Just knowing things to know things. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But, but hey, guys, just just in general, guys dating, guys in relationships, remember things. The iPhone, man, it, 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 it reminds it you of things. It has apps for all that. Yeah. The apps. Uh, I'm not one of those guys where, oh, it's our two-week anniversary. Shut the yeah. fuck up. No. One-year anniversary, remember that one. Like, 
but gen- genuinely just remember the things that you do with the girl that you're with. Yeah. And don't confuse girls with other girls. <laughs> Yeah. If you can't remember if you were dating her or someone else, just shut the fuck up. And that's when she snapped. Yeah. So, don't call me for uh, for advice if you don't follow the advice I give you now. Fair enough. So, this has been Dating with Chase and Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a weird twist. Yeah. <laughs> I think there should be, like, random segments like that that we do occasionally. Yeah, I'm down. But, yeah. It is day 505 of so- sobriety. I mean, if you really know me, and technically if you watch these, you know I did smoke that one time. Yeah. But that was before probation. So we're, now we're, we're at talking a... talking about alcohol. Though. Yeah, alcohol. Uh, strictly, it is day 505. Or 506. It'll be like 508 when this comes out, probably. But, what you day, know. What day is it? This will come out too soon. No, I was... I haven't stopped drinking. Oh. <laughs> Zero zero day sober on for Chase over here. He's uh he's I'll, winning the losing battle. I will be drinking later. Uh playing college football. Playing college football. <laughs> Coast of Carolina gonna take him to the championship. It's co- when does college football start? Did it already start? I don't know, September. Oh. School's just now getting back in, so Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> when does college football start? I think September. It's gotta be, right? Same as fucking NFL. Then why or close it? to it. Oh, it's, I mean, it's just because they're on Saturdays. Then. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You college football guy? No. I like college football just because there's something on TV. I'll watch it if it's like, I don't know. I think the last time I really got, man, this is going to show, this is going to show some time. But the last time I really watched college football was uh, Lamar Jackson at Louisville. Wow. He's been in the league for like five, five or six years, years something, or something, something like that. Something. Yeah. Uh, the last time I really watched college football was uh, Ben Young. <laughs> well, I don't feel bad. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's just not my jam. I mean, I'll watch it like if it's TCU versus somebody yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Um, you know a good game or some shit. I'll watch that. But yeah, but I mean, like religiously followed it. I think I was. I watched like five or six games. Yeah. Lamar Jackson when he was at Louisville. I don't watch it like I watch. I, like I won't actively look for it like I do with the Texans. Like yeah. I, I make sure to sit down and watch the. You Texans don't. You don't know who Sunday. they're playing for the next three games in a row. Yeah. You haven't mapped out yeah. the, the, the schedule, the times. Oh, I can't do this day. Yeah, exactly. If it's on and it's there and I ain't doing nothing else, yeah, I watch it. I think that's. I think that's what college football is for me because Saturdays are oh, not really a big. Like sport day, yeah. like there's no there's no NFL on until you get into the weird like yeah. those weird months of the year where they're like let's throw a let's throw a Saturday game on. That's usually like Earth around Friday Thanksgiving. Game. Yeah, Thanksgiving they'll do the Saturday game after. Yeah, because the schedule is all jacked up from the holiday. Yeah. <sighs> you know what would be cool, and I think the NFL players would agree. Hey. Why don't we just all get our bye week for Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> well, then there's no football on Thanksgiving. That's true. Yeah. That's a distraction from all the weird stuff that goes <laughs> on with the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Never mind, NFL. Uh, I retract that statement. Keep doing your thing. Yeah, but I'll, like, make sure to sit down and watch the Texans. But when, like, draft, when it, when the season's over and the draft starts, I'll, like, research all these players and... Watch oh. their highlights and shit. See what the up and coming is going to be. Yeah, how many how many fantasy leagues are you going to be in this year? Oh, fuck, I don't know. I was in like six or seven last year. I was in one. Was it was it last year that I was in one? Yeah. I played last year. Yeah, yeah, I did. Me, you, and Vincent played last year. Me and Vincent were in the same league, and I think Vincent was in another league too. I don't know. It depends on how my draft goes. If I like my team, I'll stick with one. <laughs> Fuck this team. Anybody else got room on their on their I mean I still set it up every week, but Yeah. I uh, depend like I did basketball. I had a lot of basketball leagues too because I wanted Luca. You did fantasy basketball? Yeah. We never talked about that. Yeah, you can set that up every like weeks in advance. Because they that's play too every much, day. Bro. That's too much. There's too many I know that's they, that's there's they, too many games. Yeah, they play every day, so you might have somebody on your bench. But I, I will say tomorrow. that for parlay bets and, like, if you're into sports betting, yeah. when you can do that every day. Because NFL, 
I think I won. Man, I sucked. Um, yeah, you always you were talking about how it was shitty. I, I was always. I mean, I would always like break even, or I'd win like four dollars or forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it didn't cost a whole lot to play, but over the course of time, I lost more money than I made. But yeah. I, but I'm not a religious. I'm not one of those guys that goes in religiously and looks at the stats, looks at the over under, looks at average for each player. I don't. I don't do all that. I don't do that either. But you're playing fantasy versus sports betting. True. So true. But I got I got buddies that do a they they transition from knowing this and knowing that. And you can I mean I think it's kind of fucked up that like there's there's a lot of Instagram pages that are like sports betting on women's basketball. Yeah. And like these dudes are cleaning up. Oh yeah. And because the over unders is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, really like. Well, that's that's getting, a big number. That's just getting really popular now, though. Women's yeah. basketball. I, I don't. It me. Okay, okay, okay. We'll say that it's getting really popular. It just, is. just for the sake of argument. When was the last time that you knew anyone that you knew went to a women's basketball game? Never. How are they going now? No. Are they watching it on TV? I think I. Th- no. I don't think it's really popular. I think it's getting more media coverage. I think they're, well, they're selling out arenas and shit, apparently. Not around here, they're not. No, not around here, they're not. That's true. But, I mean, that's that's what I'm... I, I, I'm not saying that it's not popular. And then there's always been the argument that they don't get paid as much as the men. Well, that but, that's a different situation. Yeah, because Luka can sell out an arena. <laughs> well, it's also the NBA pays for the WNBA, so... Now, if they could start making that money and... Building up true. the league more, and they're making profit, then they can get paid more. It's yeah, just the, w, the WNBA loses money every yeah. year. It's just business. Yeah, I mean, it's not saying they can't do it, but they just haven't done it yet. So yeah, and you know, we'll we'll see. Maybe maybe things change. Maybe 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 they're on, that, we're on that, the cusp of the right direction. That now. girl was pretty good though. Who Caitlin Clark? Yeah, she can shoot. Yeah, she can shoot. I, the the one thing that I really do like about her. She doesn't complain. <laughs> yeah. She's not like Luca. She takes that shit on her fucking chin every fucking night. Yep. She's getting demolished out there. <laughs> yes. And she gets up. They're Draymond in her ass. Yeah. And she she gets up and she's like, like nothing fucking happened. And, and then there's that one clip. She threw the ball up. It was going to hit that girl oh, yeah, in the back of the head. And she deflected it so she, that girl didn't get hit. And that girl was like. Yeah, ready to fight. And then they were like, "No, no, she was like, she was watching out for you." She was like, "Oh, sh- my bad." Yeah. And that, but I mean, there's little stuff like that. Like I like the way she plays the game. Yeah. And hopefully, I mean, I'm not saying she she's the face of the the WNBA, well, but I mean, right now, she right is. now she is. Yeah. And I remember uh, when Di- Diana Taurasi or whatever back like we were in high school when she came out. Yeah. She was pretty popular. Yeah. Of course, Lisa Leslie, like, she's probably the most famous of. Was she the first one to dunk? Yeah. Yeah. She was like 6'5". 6'2 mm. over here. Still can't dunk. Same. I can dunk on a 6'5". I haven't, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't dunked since sophomore year of high school. No, bro, I could never dunk. No? I could, no. My, uh, my calves and my uh, upper body weren't built for it. I have short legs. Long I don't know what that has to do with it. I don't either. It sounds like a good excuse. I got short legs. <laughs> That's why I can't do it. <laughs> my legs aren't strong enough to lift up my upper body that high in the air. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's science. This is basic science and just, gravity. Just the way it works. Just yeah. Works. You know, I'm not mad about it. I love God. Thank you, Jesus. But, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where we were segmenting. Oh, no, no, no. This is, this is one thing I want to talk about. So, this would be the last topic. All right. I was I was having some self reflection the other day, and I was really thinking about 2024. And you know, people always say 2024 is going to be the year, like sports teams. 2024 is our year. Yeah. 2024 this. 2024 that. Everything changes in my life in 2024. Yep. That's... I'm going to turn over a new page. But then, I really thought back on 2023 and 2024. 2023 was really my fucking down year. And then yeah. coming into 2024, this is my transition year. Uh-huh. So I'm going to, the DWI stuff will be over in November. Yeah. The Harley's coming in December, if not sooner. And 
there's just different and there's 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 going to be new concepts with the podcast and new new things that we're doing yeah and then just in life bro bro two years ago before we worked together for that stint uh-huh. but you you transitioned careers uh-huh. and then i was looking back at vincent vincent was he just transitioned to fatherhood starting all over again yeah and i've been looking at 20 and I, one of my other buddies he was we were talking about some different stuff and then just seeing the way like it really feels like wow keeping the same energy like looking at everybody it's like i'm proud of everybody <laughs> like 2024 like we're actually doing it it's like hey you know this is pretty cool like seeing because you know a lot of people talk about oh man one day i'm gonna do this and one day i'm gonna figure this out and i'm trying to I'm trying to do this with my life. And it's like, you know, all those little subtle changes that we make and we try to push yeah. and we try to figure out, but actually looking around and seeing it's like, dang, huh? Everybody's kind of doing it. Everybody's kind of doing a little bit of something. It's not this drastic flip like overnight, but it's like, Oh, we figured some things out. We're working on this area and we're actually seeing changes. Yeah. And it's like, dang, it was just, it was just cool for me to sit back and look around. I'm like, huh? You know, this actually, uh, you know, all this shit talking. Might be a good year. Yeah, this is a pretty fucking solid year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I, I know I, I do like to, uh, I do like to see, because you, you, you never want to wake up, man, and we're like 45, and we're like, damn. This shit's coming, bro. <laughs> I know. I got 10 years, bro. You got nine. But the thing is, I don't want to wake up when I'm 45 and be like, man, I never bought that motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like it would have just made more. It made it made more sense buying the truck, but I really wish I would have bought that bike. No. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I want to be that guy. It's like, damn, they fucking repoed that motorcycle, <laughs> but you know, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> they repoed that shit, but hey, we drove it around they, a little they bit. They repoed that motherfucker. I had it for three years. <laughs> I almost paid it off, and they came and took it. Damn. But I mean, it's stuff like that, bro. Like, I don't want to live with the. I feel like. Because of my background and some of the things I've been through, I lived with some regret for a while. Yeah, I think everybody does. And I think that from, like, my perspective in life is, I mean, 500 days sober, like, it really doesn't bother me anymore, but I could have got the DWI and just kept fucking drinking (laughs) and just ended up in more trouble with probation and all this stuff. And looking back, it's like, hey, I made it this far. If I drink again, it'll be with an Uber. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not. Ha- oh, you had a couple beers. Yep. Keys go away. Yeah. Key to the house when they drop me off from the Uber, but no more driving. Yeah. But I think that's that, that's that's just what my reflection on 2024 has been so far. I mean, we're eight months in now. It's August. We only got these five months left. Is that how math works? I think it's uh, August, September, four. October, November, December, including August. It's five. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we got it's these, like August third. We got these five months left. Yeah, we're over halfway there, man. Yeah, twenty twenty five, man. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, think about we were born in the eighties. <laughs> man, it makes me feel old as fuck, bro. Yeah, oh, you got to bring that shit up. It's <laughs> a long time ago, bro. Oh, oh, I did get to take the kids to go see AEW. Oh we yeah, went to at the. The esports arena in Arlington. Oh, cool! Twenty dollars a ticket That's to see televised wrestling, and it's better than what you'd pay to go see like when I went to see Raw the, or bro. Okay. When I went to see WWF, WWE when I was a kid, and it was a dark match, so yeah. it wasn't televised at <laughs> Reunion Arena. That's showing my age. Reunion Arena. I used to go to Stars games there all the time. I think I went to a Mavs game there once. Well, at I probably Reunion did arena. Too. But we went. We went to see WWF there. We sat nosebleed oh yeah like time. <laughs> you had binoculars trying yeah. to look at that little wrestling ring the dark match the main event was uh triple h and the big show and that i mean that was like man that had to be like fifth grade maybe sort of like 10 is that how old you are in fifth grade oliver's gonna be nine and he's in third 10 or 11, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's, woo. And I think those tickets were like, 
uh, eighty something dollars. Yeah, you think about it. Fucking when we were in high school, that was almost that's twenty years ago. I know. <laughs> I sit there and uh, well, because like Troy, Troy graduates twenty twenty seven, and I graduated in two thousand and seven. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel a little uh, a little long in the tooth there. Oh six. Yeah, I was talking about something. I said something about my accident. And I was like, holy shit. That was 20 years ago now. Oh, <laughs> six? Damn. 20 years ago. Well, yeah. it, was, uh, it was 2004 when I got my car accident. Damn. 20 fucking years ago. Bro, what car was that? Oh, I was in the back of a truck. Huh? When I got my... No, not when I got arrested. Oh. <laughs> When I got arrested, it was 2000. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all, y'all don't know Chase or, uh, Chase's origin stories. <laughs> like, we've never really talked about, uh, like, in depth any of that. About how I almost died when I was 16. Yeah. No, you were in the back of a truck? Yeah. And you flew out of the truck? Well, we hit a tree going 80, and I went face first into the back windshield. <laughs> Bro, thank God you're alive. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard this story. We've talked Are about. You, like, how I got all my scars and shit. We've talked about it, but I don't think I ever heard you that way say it, like, 80 yeah. into the back window. Yeah. I was in, like, at the tailgate. Fucking flying forward. Okay. Dude, did y'all watch Jackass at this time? Like, bro, what no, were y'all there, doing? <laughs> it, there was a fight, a drunken after a football game and went fighting to fight and it was all we were being chased and oh yeah i got i got scars on my back from getting hit with a golf club while i was laying unconscious in the truck (laughs) yeah see this is what i'm saying (laughs) this is why bare knuckle boxing is bad Cause Dude, my ear someone, was hanging on. Someone should have stopped that fight. Like, why was someone hitting you when you were already, like, unconscious? I don't know. I wasn't conscious. We're going <laughs> to... I wasn't there, man. We'll show him. Yeah. Can't feel it at all. No. You're just out cold. Like, why did my back hurt? <laughs> I woke up a month later. Are you in a coma? Uh, yeah, like, for, like, a little bit, and then they medically induced me into one. Bro. The fuck have we never talked about this before? Know. We've known each other. Okay, this this yeah. is another story. Me and Chase really, really, really didn't start hanging out nah. until we started doing the podcast together. Yeah. We worked together for a little bit for probably like maybe six months, six eight months, something like that. But I've known your dad for like almost ten years. Yeah, we'd see each other. We'd see once each other. Like, hey, what's and, hey, what's up? And like. I think you grab beers out of the ice out chest the in my truck, truck occasionally. Yeah. And like, but we, like, I always think your dad was like, I never want those two to hang out. <laughs> yeah, it would have been crazy. me at my worst in drinking and you at your worst, like, I think we could have gotten into some fucked up shit. We'd have went to jail for sure way earlier. So we were like. Well, I had already been to jail once. No, nah, I hadn't yet. But we, we were like friends in passing. Yeah, I mean, we were cool. Yeah, we, it was, there was never like. The longest conversation guy. we probably had was probably like twenty minutes yeah. when you came up to go to see your dad or y'all were gonna go to lunch or something. Yeah. But besides that, and then when we started working together, Chase was like, "Hey man, you should do this on the podcast. Hey, you should do this on the podcast." <laughs> and I was like, "All right." And you're like, "You should do this on the podcast." I'm like, "Um, you just want to do the podcast, bro? Because <laughs> like you seem like you want to. <laughs> I totally like you, did. But... You have suggestions. Like just just let's do this. All right. And so like there, there's bits and pieces of stories of your childhood that your dad's told me. Yeah. And then there's stuff that we've, because bro, we never sit down and be like, "Tell me about your life, yeah, bro." Right. What's like what happened story? when you were 13? Like when was the last time you were at Chuck E. Cheese? Like we don't ever fucking do shit like that. Nah. It's like, bro, let's go get some food. All right, man. Man, fuck this game. <laughs> and then we're just sitting there talking shit about commercials and people yeah. at the bar. Yeah. Like if you if y'all don't people watch, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Exactly. A little bit you got to people watch because it just keeps things interesting. It mixes it up. But yeah, I never knew that you were in the back of a truck that was going 80 that hit a tree. And yeah, I didn't know that, bro. Yeah. Until today. Got careful. I did to Harris Hospital. Bro, that's wild. That's some shit in a movie, bro. You could have been a stunt double, bro. Your body's built for it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, surprisingly, we only had four broken ribs and a fucked up face. I mean, I would have thought your neck would have snapped, bro. 
You had to hit that bad boy just right. I remember your drunken state must have. I was pulling glass. I I was pulling glass out of my face and stuff until like I was like twenty five. So it's ten years, bro. Yeah, close to it. I remember when I was in jail. I was twenty three, and I remember uh, my ear. I had a little spot on my ear that hurt, mm -hmm. and I fucking popped it, and it was a piece of glass. Man, then maybe that's why I have this bad skin. Maybe there's like broken glass in my face. <laughs> Bro, that's wild. Yeah. Man, see, this is what bonding is about. We talk shit and then suddenly you find you out your friend something. almost died. Like, bro, you almost died. Yeah. Yeah. I said I had a 25% chance of living. Mm -hmm. Here you are. There were seven people in the truck at the time. Bro, here you are 20 years later. Oh. Damn. Living the dream. I don't think we're going to top that in any way with more <laughs> conversation. So we're just going to call a day on this podcast and uh, thank the good Lord that that chase is still here after 20 years because that shit's wild, bro. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we need to have more of these conversations <laughs> on camera like, all right, bro, let's not talk about anything like goofy. Like, tell me some crazy shit that happened to you. Yeah. Because, dude, that's just one accident. Mm -hmm. I've been in a bunch of car wrecks. We're going to do the car wreck episode. <laughs> I mean, most of them I wasn't even driving. So. I, I have one I or got, two that I was driving. I got two, I got two car car wreck stories. Yeah. Well, that's the worst one for sure. Then, yeah, that's all well, you. We'll, we'll, we'll get more into yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get more into <laughs> it. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap this podcast up. Thank you for uh, listening if you've gone this far. And thank you um, for all the support and yeah. the likes and uh all the bullshit Everything else. and uh stay fed and all that jazz and talk shit in the comments and uh yeah, yeah that's a that's a wrap we'll see you next time